My name is Patrick Luganda. I'm the chairman of the network of climate journalists in the Greater Horn of Africa. It's a network of journalists that um, tries to promote climate information for better use among the public, working very closely with the science community. We've worked with the climate uh, science community since 2001, up to date, and we're really getting along quite very well. But one main issue that um, still is a stickler or a problem in the whole of Africa and many developing countries is the ability of journalists to report properly on this issue. There's a lot of need for capacity building and uh, one of the ways that that can be done is a closer interaction between journalists and the scientists such that the two bodies can learn from each other. Journalists need to know what are the challenges that scientists need to um, communicate and the opportunities that the science offers to the public. They need to know that um, this is a science of uncertainty, a science of probability, and with probabilities you have got a chance for uh, it being 100% true or a chance for it being wrong. So um, the, the probability could be that 70% of the times it is true and 30% it may not be true. And that 30% can occur. And that's a difficult thing to imagine because uh, normally journalists want to know the truth, what is the truth, and for them they consider the truth must happen as it is being told. So it's a communication challenge, and one of the ways to overcome it is to understand the science. And uh, this is what I'm calling for, a closer cooperation between scientists and journalists to interact, and also the scientists need to know how do journalists communicate. They just don't go and you know publish what they have got been told. They've got to analyze it, they've got to make sense of it, they've got to understand it, they've got to write it for their audiences such their audiences can actually understand and understand it well. They've got to overcome the jargon, which is the uh, scientific language that is filled with many of these communication uh, press releases. They've got to make sense of it, and they do it such that the ordinary um, listener or ordinary viewer can understand properly. And that is, does not come over one night. And the science is changing so fast that as journalists are trying to grasp what climate change means, you are now talking about mitigation, adaptation, and uh, what all these, all types of these issues. You're talking about impacts, you're talking about... So the science is moving very, very fast. And it's a learning process for everybody. The scientists are learning the science. There are not very many scientists who are very well, very well versed with it. But also the journalists are also learning the science and trying to get grasps with communicating it. So, um, and the communication cannot be left to journalists alone. We've got politicians who can communicate on this, we've got science communicators who can do it, we've got drama groups, we've got theatre groups, we've got, um, you know, all types of communicators. They all need to be talking the same language because if the language is different, then the viewer or the user who has the potential to make use of this information will be confused.